Hi, I'm Petra from Color Teams. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up notifications in Slack. The way to set up notifications within Slack, you go to this right hand side corner, you click on your profile photo and you then go to post notifications, set notification schedule. This will take you to this pop-up where you can then customize your notifications. So I would strongly suggest if you're someone who's not working on the weekend to change this to weekdays and you then want to set your business hours. So maybe you are someone who works uh, from say 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. So I'm say, telling Slack that in between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. I will normally be in the office and I am okay with notifications popping up that uh, letting me know that people within my team have tagged me in messages. There are also a bunch of other settings that you can change within here. So I suggest that you explore this on your own, in your own time and see if there's anything there that you want to change. However, the notification schedule is a really important part. I think that when you're running your business, you want to make sure that you're not getting notified when you are not in front of the computer. Sometimes you may have team members that love doing work early in the morning or maybe late at night. You might have people working from different time zones and you don't want to get notifications when you're not in the office. So setting up your notification schedule is a really important and really great function of Slack. And we're just going to close them. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is our status. So what you will see is this little green dot here. This will show that you, if you are active and it can also, you'll also see that there is a snooze button, which means that you have notifications snoozed. Now, if I click on my right hand side profile photo again, you can then see update your status here. So what we can do is if we click on that one, we can actually put in a status. So that is to let our team know if we are currently in a meeting or maybe we are out sick or maybe we are on holiday. Um, it's really a really good tool to let other people know in your team what you're doing so that they're understanding why maybe you're not getting back to them as quickly. The other thing you can do is set yourself as a way. So if you click on the right hand side profile photo again, you can click set yourself as a way. And what you will see is that this little green dot here or here will then go white. And that means that you're now away. You're not in front of your computer. So this is a great function. If you are having some focus time, if you are running around for appointments, maybe you're at an event or doing something else where you're just wanting to let the team know that you're not actually there to speak to them at that moment. You can also go in here and you can pause your notifications. So right now we can see that we have do not disturb on until Monday because we have set our notifi notification schedule on that we're not working on weekends. Now, if we said resume notifications, now we would be getting notifications. What we can do as well that if we are in the office and say we have a meeting, but we don't want to get notifications while we're in the meeting, what we can do as well is just to go into post notifications for an hour, two hours. And that means that you're not going to get disturbed or you're not going to get distracted if you are on a call and say, for example, you're getting all these notifications popping up on your screen, especially if you're on a Zoom call, you may not want other um, or there are people on the other end of that Zoom um, call if you are doing a, say, a screen sharing uh, to see any notifications popping up. So this is where you can go in and say, pausing those notifications for a particular time. Um, so that's how you update your status, how you set yourself as active or away in Slack and how you can set up a notification schedule and also how you can pause or reactivate your notifications for when you are in your business and working. I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. And for more videos like this, subscribe to our channel or visit our website, colorteams.com.au. See you next time.